Well, more than 20 students were injured and taken to hospitals after two school buses collided on Highway 26 in George County, Mississippi yesterday. We want to know how a crash like this could happen. Local 15's Christian Jennings went back to George County today to look for answers. Today I spoke with bus driver Jerry Holder while he was in a room here at George Regional Hospital. We spoke over the phone. Mr. Holder told me that yesterday a kid called his name, he glanced up in the mirror, and that's when he crashed into another school bus. He's just thankful that all of the students taken to the hospital yesterday have now been released. It was really scary. I was scared to death. Seconds before yesterday's collision, fifth grader Hunter Pope stepped off his bus and onto his grandmother's driveway like he does every day. I just happened to turn around and then I saw uh, that bus hit the back of our bus and then I was just making sure the person in the back of our bus because he was in the very back, I was just making sure he was okay and then I ran and slung my book bag down. His grandmother Jean Pope knows how lucky Hunter and her other grandson are to be alive. And they stepped out. And then the bus hit. Had the bus hit a few seconds earlier, Hunter and Trace would have been thrown through the windshield because they were standing there. Or they could have been thrown under the bus. I just, I want to thank the Lord that I got off. Mississippi Highway Patrol officials say the two buses carrying elementary, middle, and high school students were traveling east on Highway 26 when one bus stopped to let students off. The second bus, driven by 49-year-old Jerry Holder, rear-ended the first bus. Officials aren't saying whether speed was a factor. They're now reviewing the bus videos to determine what exactly led to the crash that left little ones with broken bones, sprains, and scratches. Officials say this investigation could last several days. At this point, no charges have been filed. Reporting in Loosedale, Mississippi, Christian Jennings, Local 15 News.